one point in my life, I came across a line by the pompous, alcoholic, bombastic 16th century physician known as Paracelsus, who said, One must seek out old wives, gypsies, sorcerers, wandering tribes, old robbers and such outlaws and take lessons from them. This was significant enough to necessitate a venture into Europe's still existing magical heritage and to take steps into learning firsthand that which cannot be learned by books. After all, there is only so long one can drolly pore over books of witchcraft, alchemy, hermeticism and folk magic practice bathtub occultism, ponder the voodoo pantheon, and consider means of tampering with the unknown before a huge leap of faith becomes mandatory. After all, the suspicion that there is a present and symmetrical world to that which we do perceive and can be encroached upon by various systems of magical correspondence is a life-altering question. A negative answer would allow oneself to retract back to the profane world and indulge in the pleasures our senses do already allow us. However, a positive answer to this question would open a curious door to endless experimentation and development into the world's either and beyond. And so I set off, through the lesser travelled paths of Eastern and Southern Europe, where modernity hasn't swallowed history entirely, in search of the rituals and the people who still employ ancient techniques of healing and affecting fate. Our first stop would be the freezing snow of northeastern Poland.